Since July, there have been widespread memes making the rounds all over the internet, and they're all about the epic fight between Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg. It's super funny and exciting. Okay, so here's the story behind the meme. Since Elon Musk acquired Twitter last year, the company has been dealing with a lot of trouble. And to make matters even worse, Mark Zuckerberg, the guy behind Facebook, created a new app similar to Twitter called Threads. And since the app's release, Musk has accused Zuckerberg of undermining Twitter even further. And Musk has reason to be worried because, in just seven hours after its launch in July, Zuckerberg's Threads already had over 10 million users on board. And it's not just regular users, we're talking celebrities like Gordon Ramsay, Shakira, and Jack Black joining in on the fun. Threads is making waves in the media world too. Accounts from big names like Airbnb, Guinness World Records, Netflix, and even Vogue magazine hopped on the Threads train. And get this, within a week, it hit a whopping 100 million users. The hype is real, and it's on the rise. For comparison, it took Twitter two years just to reach 1 million users. So, what's all the Threads hype really about? In this video, we'll take a deep dive into Threads' meteoric rise and its rivalry with Twitter. So, get ready to witness the battle between these two giants. Although the story starts with funny memes, the ending might not be funny at all. There are several reasons behind the astounding growth of Threads, but most notably, it is due to Twitter's troubles. Ever since Elon Musk acquired Twitter for a whopping $44 billion, things have been a bit rocky. First, Elon decided to fire 80% of Twitter's staff. You can imagine how that had a huge impact on the way the platform is run. And guess what? One of the teams that got axed was the trust and safety policy team. Without them, proper moderation and oversight went out the window, leading to a surge of bot accounts and harmful content spreading like wildfire on the platform. And if that wasn't enough, Elon went on a spree on banning controversial figures who were previously barred from Twitter due to hate speech. Yeah, you heard it right, personalities like Andrew Tate, Jordan Peterson, and even Donald Trump got the green light to come back. Some people raised their eyebrows at this freedom of reach approach, questioning whether it really fostered a respectful environment. Another troublesome move was the introduction of a paid subscription verification service. While intended to provide an extra layer of authenticity, it resulted in chaos as some top brands ended up being impersonated. This led to a drop in advertising revenue for Twitter, affecting businesses and users alike. All these moves and other controversies have really taken a toll on Twitter's reputation among users. Many are not too happy with the changes and have started losing faith in the platform. When you see controversies piling up, it's only natural to feel hesitant and maybe consider other alternatives. Enter Mark Zuckerberg and his newest platform, Threads. And that's how the story behind the memes began. Hold on, before we continue, I want to ask for a favor. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Because, you know, you don't want our channel to become a meme joke, do you? One thing that's really drawing people in is Thread's approach. They call it a friendly public space for conversation, and that's hitting the right chords with users. You see, there's been a growing concern about Twitter's lack of accountability and all the negative stuff happening there, like those chaotic porn links and hate speech. But Threads, on the other hand, is trying to create a safer and more respectful environment for users to connect and chat. And you know what? That's really appealing to a lot of people who are fed up with all the chaos on Twitter. Threads has another secret weapon up its sleeve, it's tightly integrated with Instagram. When you sign up for Threads, you gotta do it through Instagram. That means if you're already on Instagram, you're just a hop, skip, and a tap away from joining Threads. And the cool part, the moment you join Threads, all the new followers you get will be synced up on both platforms. Now, I get it, this might be a bit cumbersome for folks who aren't already on Instagram, as it requires a double sign-up process. But, this integration is also designed to tackle the bot problem that runs rampant on Twitter. By linking threads with Instagram, it helps reduce the number of pesky bot accounts that cause trouble on other Twitter. 
And let's not forget about the cool numbering system Threads offers. Each user gets assigned a specific number displayed alongside their name. This creates a sense of exclusivity and a FOMO circle, where users want to be a part of the growing community. With features like this, it's no wonder that Threads is experiencing such rapid growth. Alright, it's time for the ultimate showdown. Let's compare Threads and Twitter side by side and see how they stack up against each other. They may seem similar at first glance, but as we explore further, you'll see the exciting differences between them. First off, the account management differs. Threads cozies up to Instagram, and when you sign in, it's all synced up, including followers. Twitter on the other hand is the independent player, and you can sign up or even delete your Twitter account without any consequences to your other social media platforms. Price-wise, Threads is the ultimate freebie with no paywalls. But Twitter made you pay for that blue tick. They're like, pay up if you want the fancy stuff. Meanwhile, verification is a piece of cake on Threads. If you're verified on Instagram, you're good to go on Threads too. When it comes to text posts, Threads got a 500 character limit, while Twitter keeps it short and sweet with 280 characters. In terms of multimedia posts, both platforms let you share images, videos, and GIFs, but Threads goes wild and lets you post up to 10 items in one go. Twitter on the other hand only 4. Engagement is the same on both platforms with likes, comments, and shares flowing freely. Content discovery is a bit different, though. Twitter lets you curate your feed, choosing between a for you mix and a following feed. Threads, on the other hand, has one singular feed with trending posts. It's like an Instagram discover hybrid. Threads is the new kid on the block, and yeah, it's still got some catching up to do. Right now, it's missing essential features like search, direct messaging, and a web version, but don't worry, they're working on it. Now, on the other side of the ring, we've got Twitter, the seasoned pro with all the cool features. It's been serving users for over a decade, and they've got a whopping 450 million active users. Businesses and important folks love hanging out on Twitter. Threads, though, is part of the Meta family giant, so it's all cozy with Facebook and WhatsApp. But, gotta be honest, this meta monopoly thing raises some privacy concerns, especially after that whole Cambridge Analytica scandal. Imagine giving all of your data to the lizard guys. In the other hand, although Twitter is owned by the richest man on the planet, it is seen by many as an underdog who wants to preserve freedom of speech. Now, threads did have a meteoric rise, and boy, the hype was real. But like most things, the buzz eventually calmed down a bit. People now have a better idea of what to expect from the app, but don't count it out just yet. Some analysts think both Threads and Twitter can coexist happily in the social media world. It's not a winner-takes-all situation here. Threads brings a fresh approach, attracting users who want a more accountable and respectful space for their chats. Meanwhile, Twitter's chaotic charm makes it perfect for those real-time updates and cool original content. So, let's have both, why not? It's like having your cake and eating it too. Sure, we might not know what to expect in the future, but one thing is certain, with the help of AI, that meme of Musk vs Zuckerberg keeps getting more ridiculous. Now, before we wrap up, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative. If you did, give it a thumbs up and let us know in the comments what you think about Threads and Twitter's future. And hey, if you want to know more about other companies' stories and practices, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We've got more exciting content coming your way. Thank you so much for watching, and see you next time.